Hey, it's a Caterwolf, and I just designed the most compact auto compactor possible. It's fast, lag efficient, one wide tileable, and fits into a tiny five long two high area. Most common survival uses are for bamboo or bone meal farms. You can use it for any one item type recipe, except for gold and iron, as it will sometimes produce nuggets. For each slice, you will need one hopper, one crafter, one composter, one redstone dust, two observers, two comparators, two building blocks of your choice, and some plant material that can compost like leaves or seeds. I'll build it right next to this one to show that it is one wide tileable so we want to put an observer facing so that its face is facing away from the crafter put our block in here crafter on top and then hopper going into the crafter we want to dig down a little here just so that we can look up and we can have whoo that butt's close so that the butt is facing down so it's looking up at the redstone dust building block here redstone comparator redstone comparator both of them pointing into the observer's face put redstone dust on here it will connect that is okay and then we crouch and place a composter here and then we just right click or use whatever key you've got until it is full can never quite tell when it's quite full there we go that's full and then you'll get the seeds on top now that is all there is to it, you're done. Here's how it works. So the comparators, if you didn't know, they're reading the output from the composter. So a full composter has a signal strength of eight. So the comparator reads that and then pushes out. So this here is signal strength of eight. The crafter, when it is full, all the slots are full, including if you block off some of the spots, spots for say four quarts into a block of quartz, for example, that will raise this to a nine. Now this observer then detects that this has been raised to nine. Second observer is watching this first observer and then files a signal into the block, which then powers the crafter, which crafts the item, which drops this redstone down to eight, waiting for the next time the crafter is full. So let's see it in action. Let's put a double chest on here, just to make it easy. Put it all in there. See, it fires them both at the same time. However, just to show that it's operating independently, that it's tileable, and this one here, so have them separately. Now they'll be firing independently. Now, if you watch closely, you'll see that one fires at a different time to the other. The redstone signal doesn't travel across because it's only going up by one, which isn't enough to push it across to the other one. And that's why this is tileable. So you can have as many across from this as you want.